day 92. I slept so great, but I'm in a, such a bad mood right now. I've hated our Gossamer gear tent for a while, for basically the entire time. <laughs> and it didn't rain or anything, but every time it does, and any time it's damp outside, the condensation and, and the rain drip down the tent into the bathtub, or some people call it the boat, and pool, make pools of water that then soak up, are soaked up our clothes and stuff. While we were in Ashland, I tried to use the Nick Wax Solar Proof, which is a waterproofing and supposedly UV resistant spray. So I treated the tent with that. It took like an hour or whatever. That did not help at all. Not even one bit. I don't know if it's the wrong material or what, but um, the water still pools and it's ruined all my clothes this morning. So I put on wet clothes and it's cold out. And I'm just, I, I'm so mad. I've been thinking about buying a different tent for a while now and that just that that did it for me i'm buying that tent gossamer gear i hate your tent i'm gonna write a full review on everything i hate about it um, when i get off the pct but just if anyone's considering that tent don't don't buy it do not buy it it may be a little cheaper than the dyneema tents but it's not worth it it's not worth it it's not worth your clothes being soaking wet in the morning when it didn't even rain <sighs> sorry i gotta get that off my chest all right, I'm sorry about the rant. <laughs> um, it's day 92. Let's pretend to start over. It's day 92. We have like 18 miles of show to get to Shelter Grove Resort, which is like one of these little cab log cabin kind of places, I think, if it's anything like the other ones. Um, it's not town, but supposedly sometimes they have food, laundry, showers, place to camp, etc. You know what? I feel great. I feel so great considering we've done some of our largest days back to back to back. I feel really strong in like, in my feet and in my calves and my thighs. Here I thought we were already in the Diamond Peak wilderness, but I don't know. Hmm. Someone joked that it was the Diamond Peak Wilderness Pond Tour. And there has been constantly a pond on one side or the other to look at. It's been a lot of ponds. And I just realized that I left my poles at the tent site with Dylan. So I'm hoping to God that he brings them because I am not going back. All these mosquitoes. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, Dylan. I woke up at the Peninsula tent site and went for a morning swim before starting my hike, which was one of the best decisions I've made on the PCT so far. It was an absolutely wonderful way to start the day. Beautiful ponds, but I can't stop for a second because these mosquitoes are gonna get me. Oh god. Kind of pretty here. There's a stream in like one mile. I am thirsty and I have not eaten anything. I'm so starving. Pretty amazing view. Big old lake. And what we're about to climb somewhere over here. Don't know where. I'm eating my gummy art. I'm desperate. I'm eating mashed potatoes for breakfast. Okie dokie, uh, Dylan just took a break. Uh, I'm hoping that we're a couple miles from Shelter Cove. 
and uh, yeah, I would really love to get clean and have like a milkshake or pizza or both. That would be great. I just realized that this is our fifth day of doing basically 20 miles or more every single day, which for one is impressive if I do say so myself. Um, but two means that in the last five days, I've walked at least 100 miles. That's crazy. What'd you do this week? <laughs> Getting close to Shelter Cove. I think the junction's in like one mile, and that's another mile or so from there. You know what's funny is it's almost like a requirement to pass railroad tracks before you get into town. I can think of three or four examples right off the bat right now. It's just so funny. Okay, now we got a really, an actual road walk, I guess. By we, I mean me, because David is way in front and Dylan is behind. Hey, hey, look at that. Shelter Cove. Okay, so I'm walking in the back because it beats walking on the road and why not? I'm, maybe it's a little shorter. I'm assuming this is it because I see a bunch of hiker trash and I see a little PCT sign. Oh, there's Bear. This is it. Oh, can't wait. Heck yeah. Oh, the lake looks beautiful. It is pretty smoky though. Made it to the Shelter Cove Junction. Headed down to the resort right now. We are getting there. Shelter Cove had some great hiker accommodations and it was very popular. This was the PCT camper section and there were a lot of tents. On this day, we went eight miles into Shelter Cove and we had some wood of a town day, which was awesome. We ascended about 2000 feet and we descended about 2500 feet. We stopped at the PCT mile marker 1907. Today was a good day. We had a big push to get into town. Dylan and I hiked together some of the time. Um, in the afternoon, I was looking for newts, which he made me laugh with that comment. Here, Dylan saying that it was really nice to get into Shelter Cove and eat some pizza. We also met with a ton of friends. Um, this was the most friends we'd seen since Idlewild. We actually caught up with some old friends here, including the A-Tiers, it's a group we hiked with um, some of our first days on the PCT. And of course we had our usual entourage, which included Bear and Ziggy, so we had a great time. We had a really excellent day. We will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching.